Okay, so let's break down the experience. So to start off, I wanted to do the batoning, not because these knives are particularly good at batoning, but I wanted to showcase that each one of these blades here, especially the Eldris and the Companion, are very tough, very durable blades. And I wanted to showcase the fact that these things can take a beating, even if you never end up uh, doing that. These blades are tougher than you might think. Of course, the SC Azula isn't really uh, particularly called into question because it is a full tang, pretty beefy blade. But by and large, all three of these knives are very durable. And that's the, th the primary thing I wanted to convey through batoning. I'm not saying that you should baton any of these knives, especially the Eldris. It's not really good at it. But these knives are very durable. Next, I want to state that this wood is the wood that I have and I'm working with. Uh, this stuff is a little bit on the uh, rotten side. It's not particularly bad, it's just a little bit far gone. So if you see some of the notches kind of look busted up and nasty, that's not necessarily an issue with the blade. It's just due to the fact that this wood in certain parts is falling apart. However, it is all still pretty consistent and it wasn't so far gone that it was out of spec for testing, at least in my opinion. So I still used it. <laughs> okay, so now to the blade that, in my opinion, performed the best during all of these tests. Now, it was a little bit surprising for me because in my past experiences, the SC Azula hasn't actually performed that well. But in this particular test, the SC Azula did come out on top, at least for me, um, the ability that it had to cut through the wood and pop out the grains of wood uh, and create notches in one to two cuts or I should say two to three cuts was uh, very good. It actually created the square notch in two cuts um, whereas something like the Eldris took about four cuts to get a pretty good square notch. So the SC Azula came out on top out of all of these knives. However, the Companion was definitely second place and the Eldris was third. Now, that doesn't necessarily mean that you should ditch the Eldris and if you have one, you should just throw it in a trash can and buy a Companion because the biggest thing that I want to note here is that if you're solely looking for a knife for crafting and carving, probably the best option here is the Companion. However, uh, sometimes, that blade length, that weight, that size just doesn't work out for you. Either legalities or sometimes you just don't want to have a larger knife. Sometimes they're harder to wield and use and especially for different crafts or you know field dressing game animals uh, the, sometimes the larger blades just don't work out. So in retrospect uh, the Eldris is still definitely a great knife, and I'm not just trying to purely justify the reason why I should have an Eldris, but there are times when the Eldris works out well. And I want to make it clear that this whole test was very much like splitting hairs because all three of these knives are very competent at crafting and are all very useful when it comes to smaller, finer crafts. Um, it just depends on what you need and what you want out of a blade. Like I said, the SC did very good, and in fact, I didn't even do any feather sticking because that would simply be boring because all three of these knives are very good at feather sticking. Um, so the, ultimately, the performance is fairly equal across the board. It's just what are you looking to spend and what are you looking to get out of it? For me, I am pretty attracted to the SC Azula, not just because of its good performance in this test, but due to the fact that it has a good sized handle and a good sized blade, while at the same time coming in smaller than something like a Mora Companion or Clipper, and it is still just a little bit larger than the Eldris, but at the same time, the Eldris is a fantastic option, especially if you're looking for something that performs very similarly to the SC Azula, but for a fraction of the cost. And honestly, the SC Azula versus, so honestly, the more Eldris is probably, depending on what you want, could very well be the winner for you because it still has a fantastic performance in crafting and carving, all the while being small, compact, and very durable. So anyways, guys, hopefully this has been an insightful test and kind of versus video. As always, God bless, and I'm out.